Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining another episode of the Launchpad series, where we showcase critical line of business application in financial <coughs> and other commercial markets that's built on Windows and other Microsoft technologies. With me today is Bob Monio. Hello, Baldwin. Good to see you. Thank you for joining mm -hmm. us from mm -hmm. uh, Readsoft. From Readsoft. Yeah, this is uh, it's great to have you here for the first time. Thank you and very I much. I know that we have a very interesting topic called taming the accounts payable monster. So oh, it's I'm a monster indeed. I'm sure that uh, the audience is going to love to know like how big is this beast and how can we tame it. So so let's get started. Okay. Now, first off, I want to make sure that the audience know that we're going to go through a bit about the company mm -hmm. as well as really the the aches and pains in the financial accounting processes. Some of us, like me included, sometimes don't touch it on a regular basis, but doesn't mean that there are no problems. Mm -hmm. And other, in my past life, I have these issues, I have to deal with these sort of things, so I, I know a thing or two about that, challenges. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think uh, this is a technology show. We'd love to see your technology resolve app running in real time and explain to us how that gets soft. We're going to absolutely. do that, right? We're yeah? absolutely going to do that. Okay, awesome. So, so with that, share with us, the audience, about Readsoft the organization, uh, how you're part of the, I think, the, the new Lexmark family. Yes, we are. And give us yes, a little we history. Well, Readsoft's a company that's been in business for well over 25 years, and a global company, uh, working with a number of global customers, almost 12,000 customers out there in the world. But if you look at our history and our background, what you'll see is a company that had its roots in optical character recognition, the ability to take off of paper mm -hmm. content and information and translate that across into a business process so that it becomes actionable, something that you then see real benefit and value from. Because the world is awash with paper. That has not changed. In fact, there's more paper today than there ever has been, and it doesn't seem to be abating. It just continues. Right. And as the economy improves and more people are out there working and more information is being generated, naturally paper is still an issue. So as a company, Readsoft has been focusing on ways that we can turn that content into value and in turn help the company then see a return on their investment and from the standpoint of their business performance improve that. You know, If you look at the type of companies that work with Readsoft you'll see that we've got a variety of number, a uh, variety of different name brands, organizations around the world, 12,000 of them mm -hmm. that are using our solutions in order to improve their business performance and now being part of Lexmark uh, we have a much wider, much deeper set of solutions that we can bring, so we're very proud to be part of the Lexmark family in that regard. Companies like Asa Abloy, Siemens, these are all companies that are processing invoices as part of their business. And when we talk about the range of processing that goes on, we work with companies that are small, medium-sized organizations, all the way up to some of the largest organizations that are out there. And when we're talking about processing, we're talking about billions of invoices being processed any given day throughout the course of the That's year. That's a ton. That's it's, a, a ton. it's a lot of invoices, but the, the good thing about it is they're using Readsoft software. And I remember back in the days, and I think there was a graphic we can show where uh, when I was an engineer, I mm -hmm. would have to hover over the shoulders of this procurement manager and say, when mm -hmm. is this part going to make it into my doorstep? Because mm -hmm. I need to start building this. I was a hardware engineer. I need to build these systems. And I remember I, we paid the last few parts when mm -hmm. no issue with the supplier, mm -hmm. what's going on? And I remember mm -hmm. it, it took him several days mm -hmm. to give me an answer, and I wish, and maybe you can tell me that can be done now. I right. wish I can get an answer right away, even if it's the middle of the night. Well, with today's technologies from a mobile perspective and a cloud-first world, we're seeing the ability to deliver information at a moment's notice back to the people that need to have it in order to do their jobs, just as you just described. I mean, I'm a recovering software engineer. I've worked in scenarios just like you yeah. where I'm doing work and I need to find out why is it the, that the supplier that I'm working with isn't getting paid. That's right. And if I can't find that out, certainly the supplier is not getting paid. I'm unhappy. They're unhappy. It slows down the whole process of the performance of our business. This graphic actually describes the most common issue that we see out there today in accounts payable, and that is when you did need to go and talk to the person about why wasn't somebody getting paid, guess what they had to do? They had to go away, they had to start That's searching, right. through, th That's searching right. through paper, searching for information. Oftentimes it wasn't indexed, they didn't know where it was. And you sat there and said, why is this taking so long? 
Okay. Sometimes it took a week. Sometimes it took longer than that. Meanwhile, your supplier is sitting out there getting angry because they're not getting paid. You're not able to do your job, and there's frustration across the board. Mm -hmm. This is one of the most common concerns and biggest issues we see out there in an unautomated scenario within an organization. I mean, a CFO today has a situation that's looming in front of them, which is the high cost per invoice. And what we mean by high cost per invoice? Yeah, how much are we talking about here? Well, a few dollars, just, just dealing a few with cents this, dealing here. with this paper issue and dealing with all the steps that are involved and everything that goes with it, it can cost anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars. Thirty to fifty dollars per invoice. Per invoice. Per invoice. And in some situations, wow. it costs even more because what contributes to this cost is that search. Okay, the ability to go and find those that invoice information, and then when you do find it, what if you can't match it? back to an original PO. Okay? What if you can't find the approver who has to go in and approve it? Maybe there was a situation for you where somebody else didn't approve That's what right. would need to be approved and you're sitting there scratching your head going, now wait a second, if they didn't approve it, how am I going to get this approved? That's right. All of the steps that are involved in this process contributes to that high cost per invoice. So CFOs are very concerned about that high cost per invoice and what can mm. they do to get that addressed. Right. They're also concerned about something else that we're seeing today where if you're a supplier and you're not getting paid on time, well, what, what's one of the ways that you can entice your customers to pay you faster? Mm -hmm. Offer an early, early discount. payment discount. Right. Okay. Yeah. And in what we call dynamic discounting, all right, which is the option for a supplier to pay sooner based on the terms, based on somebody paying them quicker, mm -hmm. what they're going to do is they're going to allow you then to discount the invoice to be able to get some savings back off that invoice because they don't have to fund the accounts receivable with That's their right. bank waiting for you to pay. All right. right. So, You're, so to really turning from like I think what you call net 90 to net 60, net 30. Exactly, exactly. So many suppliers today are addressing the ability to pro uh, provide an early payment discount. And that mm -hmm. discounting is a savings to the bottom line. And that's something that a CFO today knows is taking place and is just scratching their head saying, why can't I get those early payment discounts? There's also corporate liabilities. Okay, and this is also what a concern. What do you mean by that? Well, if something's not getting paid, out to the supplier, all right, it does become a liability back to the business. And over mm -hmm. time, missed payments, concerns over missed payments, concerns over why something wasn't paid, mm -hmm. these can generate legal issues back to the business and they apply in the area of compliance. Right. Okay? right. And you know that there's been a lot of work around compliance over the course of the last 10 to 15 sure, years. Sure. All the things that have taken place, new corporate regulations, government regulations. Sarbanes Oxley, for example. Being, being, a, being a, a global firm like we are, you wouldn't believe the number of regulations that have been introduced to help introduce corporate controls back into the business. Right. Mm -hmm. Another area is just basically the workloads. You and I like to go home at five o'clock. Okay. Oh, Ooh. six. Well, yeah. six, but we want to go home. We want to spend time with our families. All right. And if my workload is continuing to increase because I'm not automated, because I don't have the things that I need in order to help me get the process done so I can have a happy supplier, I can get my job done, and I can go home, I'm going to be frustrated. Yeah. And as an employee, you want a happy employee. You want an employee who feels like they're contributing to the bottom line, they're seeing return on what they're doing. But if that workload is increasing, and I can tell you, with the economy going up, our customers are telling us right now that if they're not automated, they're feeling hamstrung because they can't do their jobs. So, or, or they will have to hire a lot of humans exactly. to actually process these hundreds and exactly. thousands of process, processing transactions. More people, transactions. more cost, more bottom line, and guess what it does? It drives up that high cost per invoice. So when I said that it was in the range that I gave you, it gets even higher. Right. Okay. And this is all today the constraint that a CFO feels as he looks at his business and says, what can I do? to help improve our business overall. That's mm -hmm. why accounts payable is probably one of the number one areas that uh, companies turn to when it comes to process improvement immediately as they look at ways to improve what they're doing. So I think, I think with that, um, do, do we want to get started with the process and then we can talk about how these steps take place, how I see one of the, the problems we have is a lot of exceptions. So maybe you can explain mm -hmm. a bit of the exception loop. Sure. And then we can go right to the app. This graphic does a great job of describing it because if you look at what's happening inside that AP department, remember when you went down, you talked to that procurement person, and that procurement person had to go and do various things? This is really what it's all about. It's about taking in all kinds of content, all right, all the paper. We mm -hmm. love paper. We love invoices, all right. 
any type of content when it's coming in, electronic, emails, invoices, postals, you know, all the things that come into the business, we can handle that. And that's either going to come in the context of a scanner, mm -hmm. okay, so you've right. got a mail room that's scanning it and sending it on up, but the beauty of our solution as it's been built on top of Azure, which as we know is the world's largest cloud solution out there today, what we've been able to do is leverage Azure with our solution and allow customers now to submit that directly into the cloud. And by submitting it directly into the cloud, they don't always have to go through all the steps that they went through previously. So right. cost savings back to them. Right. Once it's up into the cloud in the solution we call ReadSoft Online, we then take that content, those incoming invoices, and we'll show that in the demonstration. They can take that information, they can process it, pass it directly back through to their ERP system. In this case, of course, Microsoft, Microsoft Dynamics AX. Yeah. Process that back through into the back end system immediately, so there's pass through that takes place. No steps involved, no one has to get involved to manage or manipulate or do any of the keying or anything they traditionally had to do. Immediate cost savings supplier gets paid. That's right. That's what we want to get to. Okay? Speed but, to payment. But guess what? There are exceptions. Okay? Right. We've talked about, you and I, the fact that today there are really a couple of different types of invoices out there. PO invoices and non-PO invoices. Non-PO invoices traditionally need more approval steps involved because somebody's got to approve it. But when you have a PO, somebody already approved it. Okay, mm -hmm. So then the only thing you have to do is make sure the PO matches. So when the content is coming in, what we're doing, if you remember back to when I talked about how an invoice comes into the business, we're doing all of that matching up front. Right. Okay? We're, right. make, we're making sure that the PO matches, the line items match, everything's ready to go. So again, it flows directly through to the back bottom line. But there are going to be some exceptions. There are always exceptions that take place. So we offer the steps by providing a mobile client in what we call an exception loop to allow a customer then to route this internally to the right person. So is this really embracing the mobile, we call it mobile first? And mobile cloud first, cloud first, first, first technology. Absolutely. absolutely. So you can really speed the payment. So And just, just a comment here, we chose Azure as a business well over f uh, four years ago as we built this application because we believed in, in the way that Azure was delivering value back to the marketplace. And we're very proud of that decision. And together with what we've now done from the standpoint of our mobile investments on tablets, Surface tablets, which we can deliver on top of phones and other types of things, this has really, really helped us take the accounts payable automation process to another level. Yep. Okay, a yep. level that previously customers of different sizes couldn't do. Because the benefit of the cloud is that I can now do more work at a much lower price point for customers that before couldn't afford it. Right. Okay, SMB right. customers, the largest market out there today, traditionally in the past was an area that AP automation really couldn't reach because it was too expensive because of the premise-based activities. Mm -hmm. okay? right. Today, I can deliver that functionality to them and to the largest players out there, the companies that are processing two million plus invoices a year, companies like ASA Abloy. Okay? ASA Abloy is processing two million invoices a year. Mm -hmm. And to them, it was costing between 30 and 50 euros to process an invoice. Now they can do it for one-tenth of that, okay, through this solution. All right, Bolden, let's take a look at how ReadSoft Online addresses the accounts payable solution that we just described previously. All right. And what I'll do is I'm going to take and do a little role playing. Okay. okay? I'm going to play the role of the accounts payable processor who is expecting to see invoices come into the system. Mm -hmm. I'll play the role of someone out in the field who realizes uh, that they're being they're being reached out to. They're being asked to approve an invoice. The Even reason, though you might be on a golfing trip I somewhere. might be on a golfing trip. I might be, well, it does happen. You're on a golfing <laughs> trip. It does happen. But you know, you're, you're in a situation that is not in the office. Right. Okay? You're doing your job. You're out in the line. You're working. But you've got a role in approving an invoice that's coming right. through. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to, for those who are interested in understanding how it impacts the ERP system, because again, the CFO, that's where he's getting his information from, is I'll actually show you what it looks like inside the ERP system. All right. So let's take Great. and walk let's through that. that. So on the screen, I have ReadSoft Online. ReadSoft Online is the cloud-based solution that we were speaking about earlier. It's the mm -hmm. solution that delivers the end-to-end -end AP automation that traditionally was very, very, very cumbersome 
very much um, paper intensive and also very people intensive mm -hmm. as far as the operation is concerned. Right. ReadSoft Online is designed to be in the cloud. It's designed to be a software as a service. We have the ability to look at invoices coming into the system. In this case, an invoice would be received into the system. And with these counters, we get an understanding of what is happening as far as the health of our AP solution. Now, many of our customers will have very high numbers here okay, right. as they're processing. But since this is a situation where we're going to try to explain to our viewers how the process works, what we're going to do is we're going to take into account that some invoices have been coming into the system. And as they come into the system, they'll come in either in emails that have been sent in, they're going to be paper that's been scanned and mm -hmm. delivered on up, right. but increasingly now customers are taking this information through their email because it's just much easier. They don't right. have to put it into an envelope, send it off, pay, the, pay the, the cost of post and everything else to send it, savings to the bottom line, they're doing it via email. So when it comes into the system, you have the invoice coming in, and when the invoice comes in, you're going to get the image. Okay? Mm -hmm. And what you see on your screen here is you're seeing invoices coming in from Contoso. Contoso Entertainment Systems of the United States. And we're being able to see that this particular invoice, if we want to take a look at it, is an invoice that's come in. The image has been captured, as you see here on the screen. We deliver this back to the ERP system because, again, remember, think about those filing cabinets. We're now taking and eliminating the paper. We've made it electronic. We have it indexed. They can go search for it. They can find it. It addresses right. their compliancy needs, but they always have that record in a digital fashion. Right. On the right, you see what's happened where we've taken the content off the invoice. We have all of the header information, so we know who the buyer is. We know who the supplier is. We've got the supplier number. All of this information is being matched to their back-end ERP system. And this is part of that uh, upfront process we were talking about, where if I had to key this invoice in, Mm -hmm. in a traditional fashion, right. I'd have to go into a data entry screen, I'd have to key all this information in, and I might encounter some transcription problems. Right. But what I've done is I've now done it all electronically. Right. Very simple, very quick, very efficiently. Now, there are some scenarios where when you're reading information off of an invoice, because this might be an, either a new invoice form, or it could be a scenario where something just wasn't quite put on there. For example, when, they, when the invoice was created, when it was scanned, when it was actually generated, maybe the resolution wasn't the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there are scenarios where that does happen, but we're able to correct for that. What we can do is we can take any of this information that you see here, and we can correct it as it's coming through. This right. is the verification step. Right. Okay, right. and as part of that verification step, you'll notice I have check boxes here that are all green. But if something was wrong, okay, and for example, if my invoice number was wrong. I would actually be able to go in and correct that. And right. you can see it's doing that for me on the screen. Right. It's pointed out the fact that here's where the invoice number is. It's over here on the right hand, the right hand side. I can take and I can actually zoom in and see what it is. Right. I can move to around verify. and work it. Right. And I can yeah. fix this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And once I fix this, I'm then able to allow it to go forward in the system. Now, thinking about this for a moment, remember when I talked about the fact that we want it to be straight through as possible? The only reason that we would have two of them here is because there needs to be a verification step. As invoices are coming through the system and they're being passed directly through and there's no verification needed, these wouldn't even show up on my screen. Mm -hmm. okay? I would not have to see these. Right. Okay? So as I'm thinking about what's going on, I would like to have a small number in Verify because that means then I don't have to spend time correcting, modifying, and improving. I would rather have them automatically going through, going into my back-end system so that I'm able to do any approvals that are necessary, like you see here. These are scenarios where something has to be approved mm -hmm. because it was, for example, maybe a non-PO invoice that someone has to go and make, a, make an update on, perhaps like in your scenario where you had to go in and approve that for your supplier, mm -hmm. all right? Um, so I can, I can go and do that. But otherwise, we want them to flow directly back into the system so that as they flow into the back end of the system, I'm able to see that these are the invoices that have already been processed through. They've been scanned. The information has been extracted from it. It's now been passed into my back end ERP system, and away I go. Right. And if I ever have to go back and actually look at them, I can do that because I can go into the storage function and with the storage function I can go back and I can do searches against all of my invoices and be able to see this material at any given time. All without, go, all without going back all to without that physical having to go cabinet. back to that cabinet. I don't That's have right. to do what that person did. This is did. now the, the cloud-based cabinet. You got you it. Will. You got yeah. it. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So this is, this is true AP automation. 
So, Bob, um, I noticed that um, approval is one of the many steps we talked about. So, if imagine I'm the field manager out and about conducting mm -hmm. business, but now I need to approve. Mm -hmm. And I'm just one of the many approvers from different departments. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a better way now, unlike the tw 20th century ways of doing it, so we can improve it really quicker, quickly, so I can get back to my business? without being tied Absolutely, down. absolutely. And that's one of the benefits of the mobile first, cloud first uh, solutions that we're able to deliver. I have been able to now, as part of ReadSoft, change my hat, okay? Right. I am now someone that is out in the field, okay? Right. And my job now, as I'm doing my daily work, is to accept an incoming request to look at an invoice and approve that invoice. Right. But I need to do it under my own terms, right. okay? Mm -hmm. I need to do it uh, where I am. All on right. your own time. On my own time. I, I might be playing golf. Uh, well, okay, I could be playing golf. I could be out doing something with my family. Right. I could be down the hall in a meeting and an urgent request comes through on my phone right. to say, this invoice needs to be paid. Could you look at it right now? That's right. So it's got to be simple. It's got to be straightforward. It's got to be easy. Right. Okay? And what we've developed is something we call ReadSoft Online. Mm -hmm. ReadSoft Online Approve. Right. And let's talk about that. Yeah. ReadSoft Online Approve is that mobile app. It's an app that runs on your tablet. It the runs Windows on your phone. Tablet, right? Absolutely, it runs mm -hmm. on all of the different devices that you have, or that you would be using as part of your given day. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to take and again make the most meaningful things that you need to look at available at a glance, so that you can take action and then release it and allow it to go forward. So what you see is invoices then on your screen in the approval uh, solution mm -hmm. that you need to deal with. In this case. Again, I'm the person that's out there, you know, doing something else. I'm not logged logged into the core system, and I do need I do make need to make an approval. So I'm going to look at one of these invoices. Let's look at G and K, for example. All right. Now with G and K, I can see on the left hand side I have the original image. Mm -hmm. This was the image that was captured at the very beginning and is is being stored in my ERP system. So right. it's linked back to that. So I can see it. I can zoom in. I can do a variety of things on it if I want. But most importantly, on the left-hand side, I have all the information that's been taken from it. So I can look at this and say, hmm, all right, the supplier was G&K, have invoice number, I'm seeing what the total amount was, I see some of the coding that's involved here, and some of the information. This is coding that's taken directly from the back-end ERP right. system, so everything's already matched out. And at this point, I can either request more information, Okay, or I can or add some approved. comments okay. to it if I want, right. or I can just I can reject it and say no, don't pay this. There's something right. wrong here. We're not going to pay this. Or I can just say go ahead and approve it. Right. And if I approve it, guess what happened? The invoice has now been delivered into the back end system. It's off my glass. Okay, it's off my phone. It's off my room, and I can go back to my regular day. Yep. Or I can go and I can approve another invoice such right. as Salem. That's right. All so right. we've done two yeah. things so far, Bob. We have capture inputs into this AP processing mm -hmm. part mm -hmm. where some validation need to take place, just make sure that it's clean, and then this next person, your other hat, has just approved it. So That's right. Can you show us the third step now? Well, the third step is, is just as important, and that is we have to make sure that it's going into the back-end ERP system. So right. again, let's switch hats. Okay? I'm now moving into the world of the CFO and the controller and the folks that are working behind you know, the glass walls who are responsible for the day-to-day -day business operations and management of those operations. And to prove that and to demonstrate that, what we're going to show you is, is we're going to show you what this looks like inside of AX. Okay. okay? Great. Dynamics AX, one of the most popular ERP systems available today from Microsoft. Inside of Dynamics AX, we need to know that our invoices have arrived and are out there, and mm -hmm. they're in the process of either being approved or being paid. What I can do is I can click on the invoice approval journal, and when I go out to the invoice approval journal, what I'll start seeing is, is that all of my invoices are being batched as they come into the system. Mm -hmm. When they come into the system at this point, I'm able to go in and if I need to verify an approval or if I need to verify that payments were made against certain batches, run reports and do other types of things, I could do this. In the past, if I hadn't had AP automation, this would have been my only window into the system. I would have had to go into this system and I would have had to key all of my invoices in. I would have done all the matching on my own. I would have had to figure out where to put the paper, maybe in all them filing cabinets like we saw from that guy earlier today who was tipped upside down, reaching in there. Okay? Yeah. I would have had to do all that work. What I've demonstrated to you is a very simple process of being I'm allowing a supplier, submit the invoice, it goes into the cloud, it's processed through, 
usually directly through to the back end. Right. If an approval needs to take place, I can go and I can do my approval remotely. I can do it from my handheld. I can do it from my tablet. I can do it where I am, okay? And I can do it in a meaningful way. And then, as we're now showing you, with the hat on of what's taking place inside the AP, uh, AP department, mm -hmm. I can now notice that all this has taken place. I can only focus on the exceptions I need to focus on. I can get my early payment discounts back to the business. I can start to take that cost out, almost 80% or more right. that I was paying before against that high cost per invoice. As we heard from the gentleman, uh, the CFO from Asa Abloy, who told us when we talked to him, one of our top customers, he cut it down to almost one-tenth of that. Wow. So tremendous savings, simple process, AP automation delivered in the cloud with the tools, the mobile first tools we have here today. Great, great. Well, awesome. Well, thank you for sharing this with us, Bob. So let's get it real. I think we got a lot of uh, excited uh, viewers today. How can they get started? You mentioned about assessment uh, offer. So can you walk us through what that is? and then um, we can show some of the key links so they can get started with that? Sure, I'm yeah. happy to do that. Okay, very good. And as we were saying, there are many different ways today that we can help customers immediately understand how this type of solution can impact their business. I mean, we offer a free AP automation um, survey mm -hmm. and investment that we'll make to right. that customer immediately. Right. We'll help them understand how in each of these areas we can improve that process and how they can see immediately how they can get the benefit and value back. Right. The beauty of the cloud is that we can put a few suppliers online immediately. They can start to see how the savings is impacting their business and from there they can start simple but they can grow quickly and, and allow it to then impact their business. Awesome. Well great. Mm -hmm. Well I think we have Lots of good links here where our viewers can learn more about white papers, customer stories about how they Absolutely. reap benefits from, from ReadSoft. There's a contact information sales mm -hmm. at readsoft.com to, to take advantage of the free offer today about the API automation Absolutely. assessment. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then a bunch of other links about Microsoft mm -hmm. Dynamics, Windows 8.1, and so yeah. on. Yeah. Well, with 12,000 customers around the world using our solutions, we have a literally a plethora of case studies and examples of companies great and small as far as their size and everything else is concerned. So I'm sure you'll find on our website the things that you need. But by all means, contact ReadSoft today. Let us know what you're looking for. Let us help you address that AP monster, tame it, and deliver the value back to your business. Tame the I, monster I and know, slay the I know, dragon, right? I know we can do it, and I know we could have fixed that problem for you years ago where you were having issues as well. That's this right. This wouldn't have happened. That's right. Well, great. All right. Thanks for uh, well, thank coming you. all the way over from Minnesota to, well, uh, well, to it's Redmond, Bob. It's not that far. Not, to the, not, not that too far. far. Not That's that right. Far. And uh, I would say that um, we're definitely delighted to have you again next time as you advance mm -hmm. your technologies further. And uh, you know, hopefully, we can highlight other technologies, uh, features, and functionalities. Well, we're time. very proud of the solutions, and we're very proud of our customers and the customer satisfaction that we see and what we're able to deliver. We couldn't do this without the partnership of Microsoft, and I guarantee you, we will be back to demonstrate more capability, more functionality, because we're listening to what our customers are asking for. Those things we talked about earlier and the directions that they're going, we're delivering those solutions today. We're building it in a mobile-first, cloud-first world. So Great. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. But well, with that, here's another episode of the Launchpad series. Until next time, until next episode, have a wonderful day.